I had had coffee with my friends at the Dallas News. And I didn't have anything to do that morning. So about, I guess about 11 o'clock, I decided I'll just walk over. It isn't every day the president comes to town, you know? As he goes by, two or three seconds later, I hear a, a pop. I think it's a motorcycle backfire because the motorcycle had just gone by. And then suddenly, a second or two later, another and then another, three shots. I was interviewing everyone who thought they saw anything or heard anything. One of the first people I interviewed was the real one eyewitness that sat on the parapet just across from Oswald and watched him for several minutes in the window. And that's how they got the all points bulletin a few minutes later. Could man determine whether a man was still supposed to be in the building or had he left? But well, he didn't know for sure, but we've got that building saturated by now. We should know something before long. Attention all squad. The suspect in the shooting is reported to be an unknown white male about 30, slender build, 5 feet 10 inches tall, 165 pounds. No further description at this time or information, 1245. Notify one that we have an officer involved in a shooting at 10th and Patton. I thought, my God, that's got to be connected. Someone shoots at the president here, somebody shoots a cop three or four miles away. So I grabbed two guys and we drove like mad. Got there just in time to interview three or four people who had seen him shoot Mr. Tippett. There was no doubt, you know, they all described the same guy. And then they said the suspect seen in the Texas theater, which was about a block or so from where Tippett was killed. So I took off running to the Texas theater. I get to the door, open it up, and here they're coming up the aisle. Four or five policemen, and right in front of me, maybe 15, 20 feet, they jumped on Oswald. And he put up a big fight. All I heard him say is that I protest this police brutality. He said that twice. <laughs> 